Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this demonstration, we are going to go through how to configure Microsoft 365 Group's naming policy. So organization can use a group naming policy to enforce consistent naming strategy for groups created by users. A naming policy can help users identify the function of the group, membership, geographic region, or the person who created the group. The naming policy is applied to groups that are created across all Office 365 apps, such as Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, Planner, Yammer, and it applies for the group name and group aliases as well. So the group naming policy consists of the following feature. Prefix suffix naming policy and custom block words. You can use prefixes or suffixes to define the naming convention of groups. For example, if you configure GRP as prefix, this will create the marketing group as GRP marketing. Custom block words, you can also specify a variety of words that will be blocked in groups created by users, such as GM, billing, payment, HR, etc. So let's go and see how to configure Microsoft 365 Groups naming policy from an Azure admin center. So I logged into my Azure portal using my global administrator. Select the Azure Active Directory and right under the Manage, select Groups. Under Settings for the group, there is Naming Policy. Select that. So under Block Words, this is where you would be able to upload a list of words you wish to block or prevent from Microsoft 365 Group. So First step is you can download the CSV of block words. As of now, this is empty. This is where you would be able to add all the block words like HR, and you can add up to five thousand word, and you can you can go and basically select the file and upload the file or you can save it. The next option is group naming policy. So this Microsoft 365 group naming policy is the one which is going to allow you to add a specific prefix or suffix to the group name and aliases for the Microsoft 365 group name. So you can add a prefix by going and selecting a prefix by Selecting an attribute or a string, I'm going to select as an attribute, I'm going to select as department or a string called HR, and as a suffix, again an attribute. This time, I'm going to select a country or region, a string as New Zealand, and you can save that. So this is how you can create a prefix and suffix and a block word for your Microsoft 365 group. The total prefixes and suffixes string length is restricted to maximum of 53 characters. And prefixes and suffixes can contain special characters in the group name as well. If you're using Yammer Office 365 connected groups, Avoid using following characters in your naming policy like at the rate, hash, brackets. If these characters are there in your naming policy, regular Yammer users will not be able to create these groups. Now that we have learned about Teams naming policy and block words, in the next video we're going to talk about how to access Teams reports. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.